It's time to listen. Diabetes, your one-stop platform to find out all you need to know about diabetes care. We're here in a beautiful place in San Rafael, Bulacan. I am Dr. Marcy Cruz and my co-host, Banji. Hello everyone, I'm Banji De Jesus. And as you can see, we're now in our second episode of our experience here at the farm. What are we going to do today, Banji? We're going to go around today and see more of the farm. So, in today's episode, we are also going to talk about protein. Mm, that's right. Marami sa mga nakakarinig ng proteins, pag sinabing proteins, better silang food than carbohydrates in patients with diabetes. Di ba? Yes. Meron tayong episode tungkol sa carbohydrates. And if you want to know more about carbohydrates and diabetes, just click the link on the screen and watch it after this episode. Speaking of videos, we'd like to encourage you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to learn more about diabetes management. We have a lot in store for you for this coming episode. Let's start today's episode on proteins. Here in... Let's talk diabetes. Ay, nakakapagod to go around the farm. Pero it's very interesting to know kung saan ang gagaling yung ating mga kinakain. And today's episodes, we are joined by our nutritionist dietitian, Miss Olive Dabu. Welcome, Hello. Olive. Hi, Sally. It's always a pleasure na na-invite po ako ng Diabetes Philippines and I share your advocacy to stop diabetes. Yes. So, we talked about carbohydrates in our previous episode. And now, it's time to talk about protein. So, Miss Olive, ano ba talaga yung protein? So, ang protein, katulad din siya ng fats at carbohydrates, isa rin siyang macronutrients. Ito ay binubuo na tinatawag nating amino acids. Ito mga amino acids na to ginagamit ng katawan for growth and maintenance of the body, building muscles, and even supports the immune system. Just like carbohydrates and fat, si protein meron din siyang tinatawag na calories that can provide energy. So, pag kulang ang carbohydrates, si protein na nagbibigay ng energy. Many people, when we mention protein, immediately, they will think about pork, beef, chicken, or fish. But, is one protein better than the other? Okay, totoo po yan, doktora, no? Most of the time, when we associate protein to food, ang unang naisip talaga is coming from the animal sources. So, pat kung titingnan natin, almost all whole and processed food contains protein. Kaya lang, nakakaiba-iba lang siya sa dami at klase ng amino acids. Now, kung narinig nyo na yung concept ng complete protein at incomplete protein, ang ibig sabihin nun, this protein contains 20 different types of amino acid. Then, 9 of which are considered to be an essential amino acid. So, si animal protein, they are considered to be a complete protein kasi kompleto yung 9 essential amino acid niya. Now, for the plant protein, ang tawag sa kanya is incomplete protein or limiting amino acid protein kasi kulang siya or mababa sa essential amino acid. Pero, 
Importante pa rin ang plant protein because it has a lot of benefits not only in the body but also to the environment. Matas ang fiber, though in fat and saturated fat and cholesterol, uh, mataas sa phytonutrients and antioxidants. At saka sa environment, it is more sustainable to produce. Kaya very important that we also get our protein from plant sources. So, is it true that if I have diabetes, I should take less protein to protect my kidney? Hindi naman kailangan. As long as full kidney function, um, ang importante is that we target our blood glucose level and blood pressure within the target range to prevent kidney damage. Kaya importante na ang pipiliin din natin protein choices ay yung manggagaling sa low-fat meat portion. So, ito yung mga lean meats, seafood, and of course, our plant protein. How much protein ba ang dapat kainin ng isang diabetic patient? According to the American Diabetes Association, there is no specific or standard amount of protein. So, ang importante, it should be based on individual's health, age, physical activity, and of course, health status. Kaya importante na dapat alam natin yung ating serving portions of protein. So, Paano ba yung one serving of uh, protein? So, makikita natin that itong mga pagkain natin will give us around uh, 8 grams of protein and 1 grams of fat for the low-fat meat. This one, again, same. 8 grams of protein, pero mas mataas ang fat. 6 grams of fat. And then for the high-fat meat, we have 8 grams of protein at 10 grams of fat. Kaya dapat talaga nagpo-focus tayo sa low-fat meat. So, sa pinggang Pinoy, Miss Olive, how much of the plate should be for protein? Okay, in pinggang Pinoy, it is a food plate showing the recommended portion of the different food groups. Okay, so dapat, according to the pinggang Pinoy, half of the plate sa grupo ng fruits and vegetables, pero mas madami pa rin ng vegetables, uh, saying that dapat kumakain tayo ng vegetables every meal. And the other half will be the protein and the rice group or the carbohydrates group. Mas marami pa din ang carbohydrates. Pero kung napapansin nyo, ang picture ng ating growth foods or protein foods ay fish. Because it is recommended that we eat fish, lalo na yung fatty fish like tuna, mackerels, and sardines at least two to three times a week para for the heart. So, what's the best way to cook our protein? Grilled po ba yan? Or steam? Okay, variety pa rin. Para pleasurable eating. Pero of course, focus tayo dun sa mga low-fat preparation. So, paminsang-minsang pagkisa, occasionaling pamprito, at madalas na ihaw, nilaga, at saka mga steam. Wow! Fantastic! Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. Olive, thank you very much for being with us. But before you go, can you please tell our viewers something that they should never forget when we talk about proteins and diabetes? Okay, for diabetes and protein, just remember balance, moderation, and variety. So, balance of your protein from animal and plant sources, variety of plant food protein, and of course, moderation of the high-fat meat, especially for the medium-fat and high-fat meat portion. Wow! Thank you, Miss Olive! Thank you! Protein is the building block of life. And consuming protein is an essential aspect of diabetic management. And not only that, but it's also about consuming the right kinds of protein as we have learned today. Individuals with diabetes should really be mindful of their protein intake. We'd like to thank our guest speaker for today, our registered nutritionist, dietitian, Ms. Olive Dabu. We hope you enjoyed today's farm tour in Bulacan. We encourage you to share this video, especially sa ating mga kababayan that you think will benefit from it. And please use the hashtag, Tarana! Stop Diabetes! 
check out our other episodes and be updated by liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. Thank you again and we hope to see you in the next Let's Talk Diabetes! Bye!